Today we're talking about body types, which is something I talk a lot more about on my TikTok. I want to preface that, you know, talking about body types can be a little bit triggering for some people. So if you think that might be you, maybe it's not best to watch this video right now. For me personally, learning about my body type and how to style it actually kind of helped repair my relationship with my body because it made me appreciate it for what it is instead of for what it isn't. Everybody knows of the hourglass body shape and a lot of our media has like perpetuated that as the ideal or the only female body type. Once I kind of like learned that they were literally other body types and different clothing items enhanced or flattered to make you feel more confident, I started seeing that confidence build within myself, styling my body around the shape that it is instead of trying to style my body for this hourglass figure. We're gonna talk about like the different categories of body types. Take all this information with a grain of salt because you can literally wear whatever you want. But for me, dressing for my body type has helped me feel confident. So there's a definitely like more straightforward one, which is like the triangle, the inverted triangle, the rectangle, like the oval slash pear shape, and the hourglass. Those I feel like are pretty rigid and like people can fall more between those types of categories. Then there are the kibby body types, which is kind of more of a scale. It goes from like dramatic, soft dramatic, flamboyant neutral, neutral, dramatic classic, classic, flamboyant gamine, gamine, soft gamine, theatrical gamine, and romantic. Everybody's body type is so different, it is hard to exactly fall into one category. I think it's more so getting to understand what your body is right now and what would make you feel most confident in dressing it right now. We're not trying to change anyone's body, just appreciate it for what it is. That being said, I am me and I only have one body and my body is a rectangle body type. I am pretty athletically built. I am short, I'm 5'2". I don't have a very long torso. A rectangle body type is defined by the hips and the shoulders being proportionate. I think it's really important to give yourself inspiration and look towards other people that also look like you. Three celebrities that I've kind of looked towards that have similar body types to me, Kate Hudson, Koi LeRae. I was looking at a lot of her outfits. She likes low rise too, because she's also a rectangle, but the last one that I think I mainly look towards in like high school was Jade Chinaweth. I might be saying her last name wrong, but she's a dancer and I used to be obsessed with dancers in high school school like I still am like I low-key just want to be a dancer. Jay China with I remember watching her dance at like Millennium on like YouTube and stuff and being like she is so fit and the more I watched her it was she was so confident and she looked so good dancing she was so athletic and I was like I low-key like think I kind of look like that. As I've grown up I've obviously kind of discovered more about my body and my body type and how to dress myself so if you're trying to learn and develop and push yourself to style you're gonna be teetering on a line of comfortability and pushing yourself outside that zone. You want to figure out what is comfortable on you and it doesn't take newfound confidence to wear. And then you want to look into things that put you a little bit outside of your comfort zone because the only way that you can really grow is if you are pushing yourself outside that comfort zone. I knew a lot of people were talking about low rise flattering a rectangle body type because when you're pretty straight up and down, adding some more weight or curves to the figure creates more interest in aesthetic design of creating an outfit. I was really nervous to wear low rise at first because I was nervous to show my stomach. I just didn't know if that was something like I could rock. Still the widest part of my body are my hips. I want to emphasize that because the top of the pants are hitting the widest parts of my hips. The line is being drawn across my body there and that's what the eye is drawn to. I also wear a lot of skirts for the same reason. It emphasizes my hips and skirts usually make my legs look longer and help aid in creating vertical lines up and down my body. The eye likes to travel um, on pathways when like observing art. Fashion and outfits are very similar. We're interested in lines, we're interested in curves. When you're elongating things, your eye is drawn to that. When you're creating art, like fashion, you want the eye to hang out on your piece of art for the longest it can. You want it to be interesting. Creating interesting lines and patterns within art or an outfit will let the eyes hang out on the subject longer. So there is definitely like a design element to the way that lines work. Same thing with v-necks. Like v-necks on shorter people and rectangular people tend to look better because the eye is being drawn inwards. It creates that vertical line up and down your body. 
with that knowledge that I learned about my body type, how clothes and lines can emphasize certain aspects, I figured out some main silhouettes that are just kind of like easy formulas for me to gravitate to. Like I said, when creating these outfits, I like to draw vertical lines to the center of my body up and down, lines around my hip area, and sometimes too I like to add a little more weight to the shoulder area to balance out the hips. More so depends on the look that I'm going for. One that I go for all the time is after I figured out I like low-rise pants, I started experimenting with different kinds. So not only do I wear low-rise jeans, but now I figured out I really like cargo pants. How it brings a little more weight to the lower half of my body. I like to pair a baggy pant or a low-rise pant with a baby tee. So a baby tee is essentially just like trendy term for like not a crop top, but a shirt that doesn't reach the pants. So there's just like a very small little stomach line, like literally one inch. I, I wear this look a lot. I I love a good baby tee. Same thing with flare pants. Adding a flare to the bottom of my pants suggests the eye to look for curves. The bottom of like the widest part of the flare kind of goes in line with the widest part of my hip. So the eye is drawn to those two places. You can wear whatever shirt that you want with it. But sometimes, like I said earlier, I like to balance it out with something wider on the top too. I pair these flare pants with this kind of wide collared top. Um, I really like that outfit though. And instead of playing with the lines around my waist, sometimes I just like cross that off of something I want to deal with altogether. I'll go for emphasizing just like a different part of my body. Another silhouette that I'll go for is like a skirt and something oversized on top. That pairing kind of makes it look like a dress or emphasize the vertical lines in which we do have. Could be a sweater, could be an oversized button up, could be oversized t-shirt. Last summer was the first summer I was experimenting with like shorts because for a while I had been wearing high-waisted denim shorts and that was like the trend. So in my brain, I was just like, okay, that's the trend so I'm gonna wear it then once I started like really realizing like why do I like actually not feel good in this or like why why do I prefer to wear jeans over shorts and it was because I didn't really like the way that high-waisted shorts are making me look really kind of emphasized my rectangle if you're going for that look like go for it I just like wasn't loving how it looked on my body and instead of thinking hey I want to change my body I'm thinking hey what other clothes would actually make me feel more confident I discovered some low-rise shorts which I was also afraid of because I didn't want to like I didn't want to wear like a booty short I found like a happy medium these plaid shorts I wore all the time last summer and I had a shirt that pretty much got close enough to the top of the pants styling myself for summer I found to be a little bit more difficult because I feel like I'm kind of more confined to like a denim short or a mini skirt whereas with pants you could have like a long linen pant you could have a cargo pant with lots of pockets I'm like not an expert here this is literally just what I've learned so far and there's still plenty for me to learn. So that's just basically how I style my body type. I do plenty of outfit videos styling my specific body type on TikTok and I do a lot of experimenting with personal style, style growth, my fashion journey, a lot of thrifting because literally my entire closet is 100% thrifted. My next video, I want to take what we've learned from this video and show now we've learned about our body type, now how do we take kind of these formulas and apply them into creating and growing personal style. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped. I'll talk to you on Instagram, TikTok, and my podcast. All right, love you, bye.